Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to talk about design iterations and how you can display them quickly and easily with tags and scenes. So this model we're going to take a look at is the product of a live stream. We did a challenge on a live stream designing a cabin in 1, 10, and 60 minutes. So I'm only pointing that out just to say that this is not a legitimate uh, designed model where you went from conceptual massing and added detail and that sort of thing. But uh, it it'll clearly illustrates the process. So we're going to go in and talk about how we can use tags and scenes to walk somebody through that intentional design going from the initial massing, the shape, the size, into the final actual model or, or, or the, the final step, or maybe final, maybe preliminary final, I don't know. The step that we got to that I wanna show the customer. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. All right, so here we go. Here is our, our model, and, and I'm actually gonna turn this off. Here's what we're starting with, right? So we got some sort of a, a slab or something and some terrain around it, and we're building a cabin on here. So what happened, the way this process worked was in a minute I roughed up this, this little, you know, this is kind of what I want is the mono sloped roof. I want the chimney on this side with the fireplace. Uh, this is, you know, I'm thinking like this is maybe facing uh, south. So this is, put some big windows here. Um, but this was the initial concept. This was the mass, right? From there, we added in some more detail. So this was 10 minutes of design time. But, you know, here's here's where we're going to have this nice big porch that these he's windows all around surrounding. This is probably be a door, a little more realistic size for uh, a chimney. I think that last one was like eight feet deep or something like that, ridiculous. But uh, you know, this, this is a little more refined. And then of course, we uh, just an hour design, we finally put in the uh, this view. And you know, this came with some trees and some some more laid out properly laid out. Here's what it could look like at the lower lower space on there too. So this got me thinking like, so I, I went through and grouped it, right? This could happen in the real design too. So I could actually, as I'm going, I could take basically snapshots, grab everything, make it a group, set it aside, and that can be uh, a different phase of design. So that process wasn't difficult. So I, I mean, you know, as I'm, as I'm sitting here, as I'm working through something, I get to a point where I'm like, all right, this is phase one. All I had to do is grab it, make it a group, and in this case, I set it on a tag. So in this case, my tag was one minute, 10 minute, and then of course, 60 minutes. So you can see that that's, this is what I created. Um, these were what I would say, like I said, the design steps I went through in massing and kind of going into more detail, laying out. You, you'll have your own process for it. So what these steps are, are kind of not important to what we want to actually look at. What I want to look at now is, how do I take this and make them presentable back? I could, I mean, this is definitely possible. I can always come over here and toggle stuff on and off, but I'm, I really like using scenes for things. So I'm gonna take a look at using scenes to make it quick and easy to toggle through these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go pull up my scenes and with my initial mass created, I'm gonna hit plus. Actually, before I hit plus, I'm gonna drop down the details of the scene. I don't want to set everything. The only thing I want to actually create with this scene. So this, this scene is just going to be used to get me to this one minute conceptual massing view. So I'm going to only have visible tags. So I'm going to turn everything else off, just visible tags, and hit plus. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, sure, create a new style. Not really worried about that. There we go. And I'm going to call this... Uh, Um, I don't actually want any animation stuff. I don't need that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off one minute, turn on 10 minute, and then I'm going to say, okay, create a new one. Again, only visible tags. We're going to call this one, rather than scene two, phase two. And then you'll never guess what's going to happen next. That's right. We're going to go turn on the third one. Looks good. And again, visible tags only. I'm going to create a new scene there and call that phase three. Now, 
Simple, that took a few seconds, but the cool thing about this, because of the way I set this up, saving only visible tags means that my camera is gonna stay wherever it is and let me flip through these phases. Look at it over here. Which is really quick and easy. This is a nice way to go through here. Um, I could, again, it, yeah, it, I'm saving a click, right? <laughs> I could come over here and turn off this and then turn this on, or I can just click a button here. Um, the nice thing too is I turn it off of animations, but I could in theory play an animation too. So I could actually go and create an animation that's gonna walk me through those phases as well. The other thing I do too, is if I have something like a 3D mouse and I can come in here and like, let's start turning this. And then as I'm going through, let's walk through the phases. I only have three phases, but you would imagine if you had more than this, you could actually walk through the building process and I could see this whole structure come together uh, and just click through as I move. It's also nice, I mean, in a working situation too, if I'm working on phase three and I'm like, wait a minute, something's not the same. What, what was my original plan for this, this piece over here? Oh, okay, that's right. I was gonna have something you could park a VW in. That's why, that's why it's different from the original phase. And I can flip through real quick and easy. The important thing here is, again, there's two things. Groups, I do have to go through and group each set of geometry, right? So phase one, phase two, phase three, separate groups. Um, those groups then have to be on their own tags. Once they're on their own tags, create a scene with visible tags only and you can quickly flip through. It doesn't mean you can't have other tags. So I, can, I mean, I have my hero rendering or whatever I want to do that showing, you know, here's my here's my model, and I want to save that as a separate tag, and that, that tag's going to include set camera location and styles and fog and all that, sure. But just as a quick working phasing set of scenes uh, by turning on visible only, lets you quickly and easily flip to those views. So this is a quick and easy one. This was this is not a long, drawn out, uh, pretty easy way to do that. Uh, and this, I'm showing this as kind of a phasing, as a design phase, as the design process. But this could be used so many different ways. You could use this uh, in showing, you know, construction phases. This could be as a, as something goes up, or demolition phases as something comes down. Um, this could be the life cycle of a project and how you go through. Um, so many things to do. Anything that's an incremental view could be done just this way. Put them in groups, put the groups on tags, connect the tags to, visi to visible tag only scenes, and it'll allow you to step through or back through different phases of your model. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you used something like this? Uh, do you have a better way or a different process that you use something like this for? Do you have a different idea you think would make a good video? Leave it in the comments down below. We might like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.